Hello friends, it's Miss Cheryl from Warren Newport Public Library. Welcome to another episode of Kids in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make striped valentine cookies. This recipe comes from a family fun cookbook. It's a Christmas cookbook, but it's got a sugar cookie recipe in it, so it's perfect. Now you could use bought in cookie dough. You could use your grandma's favorite sugar cookie dough. It doesn't matter. We're going to concentrate more today on the process and how to make these cookies than the dough. So let's get started. But as usual, before we begin, you need to wash your hands. Make sure your work areas are clean. And if you have long hair, pull it back. All right, I've already made some cookie dough, some sugar cookie dough. So I'm gonna add some red food coloring to it. You can put in as much as you want. Now this is a liquid food coloring. The paste food coloring will have a more vibrant, brighter take on the dough. I like to just mix dough with the food coloring with my hands. But you could use a spoon, it's up to you. Now I started with my hands and thought it was a little sticky, so now I switch to a spoon. And because it's red, I'm using a red spoon, so it won't discolor. But you could use a metal, whatever you want, whatever works. I put in about three dots, but I may have to add more. Now some cookie doughs will be a little bit stickier. This is a stickier dough than some. And I'm going to add a little more flour so it's not so sticky. But like I said, you could use a a bought in dough too and that would work just fine. Now when we roll these dough, this dough out, we're going to roll it on either wax paper or parchment paper. I happen to like parchment paper so that's what I'm going to use. And I want a light pink dough. So when I made the dough, I'll keep half of it plain and the other half I'm going to color, which is what I'm doing here. We're going to roll the dough out and then we're going to cut it into strips. Some of the strips will be pink, some of the strips will be white. So before we cut them to lay them side by side to get a stripe, we're going to put sugar on them. You can use sanding sugar, you can use just any kind of sprinkling sugar, whatever you have. Okay, I'm going to move this to my paper. And I'm going to knead it a little bit by hand. But because it's parchment paper, it's not, my dough is not sticky. And this may take a couple minutes. sugar cookie dough. This one has a 
lot of butter. It depends on how much butter is in your dough. It depends on how soft your dough is by how much butter is in the dough. This dough has a lot of butter, so it's a softer dough when it comes to room temperature. I'm going to look at it. back down on my dough to press the sprinkles in. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the dough that I have not colored. Our dough is chilled, so now I'm going to put some sugars on it. I'm going to use some pink, because that's what I have. And I like it kind of thick. So now I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper, and I'm going to roll over it so the sugar sort of adhere. Not real hard, just real lightly. And I think I would like a little more. Okay. So now I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to make strips. And you can make them as thick or as thin as you want them. And after I do this, then I'm going to put it back in the refrigerator for a few minutes to get hard again. Because they'll come apart easier. These are kind of fussy cookies, but they're very pretty. Okay, I've taken our cookie dough out of the refrigerator. So now I'm going to start lining them up side by side. Don't worry if they're not perfect. They'll be just fine. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on mine, I think. Just because I want this to make sure it doesn't stick. Because my dough has a lot of butter in it, so it's a little bit stickier. I'm going to take the white one and put it right next to it. Get a little 
be stuck on there, so I'll just cut it off. Now, if you wanted to, you could, oops, you could use a smaller cookie cutter for the scraps. It's up to you. I prefer to just make it into balls. Although these are fussy cookies, they're very, very pretty when you're done. where I want to put it. And then I'm going to bake it just like that. So you get the idea. So work on putting your lines of cookies together, cutting them out, put them on your cookie sheet, and I bake mine for six to eight minutes. There is another way you can do this. Bakers make two colors of dough. They put one on top of the other. They cut it and then they turn the dough on the side. So try your hand at this and come on back after I have mine baked too. I'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back. Here are some of my finished Valentine cookies. Aren't they pretty? I hope you enjoyed making these Valentine cookies, and I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.